Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning, yes, sir. How's the week of practice been? Uh, it's been really good. Uh, today was really, really good for the offense. I mean, defense probably did good too over there. Our offense did really good today. The guys were locked in. Um, the energy was there. Guys were flying around. So today was good. Growing up as an FSU fan, what are some of your favorite memories of this this rivalry? Honestly, I, I don't remember much at all. I just remember going back and forth with my brother's friends that were Florida fans when I was when I was young. Uh, that's about it, sir. Can you speak a little on, on Dylan Gibbons and what he's meant the last couple of years to this program, and specifically the offensive line. So many guys were young when mm. first came in, and kind of all grown up with them now. Yeah, uh, Dylan, he, he's been special for us. Uh, we're blessed that he came here. Um, he's took ownership of the offensive line and the offense. Um, and just led, led by example. Um, shows up the treatment at 4.30. We make jokes all the time. We have treatment at 6. He's here at like 4.30, 5 o'clock, early before the trainers get here. Um, he just leads by example. He's a good person. Um, treats people good. Um, so, as there. I guess theoretically there should be something open on every play. There should be some option there. The fact that you guys are able to kind of effectively operate that way right now for you, I mean, how much confidence do you have in, in everybody out there to operate the offense? Yeah, I'm conf I'm very confident. Um, the guys are playing really well. Um, they're giving 100% on every single play. The offensive line giving time. Running backs are making plays. I feel like the run game is opening everything up. Um, tight ends are blocking. I feel like the tight ends are a position that's overlooked a lot because they're in there every single play going against defensive linemen. Um, so I give a lot of props to them. Um, but yeah, everyone's playing well right now. I don't want you to say that you have to be overconfident, but does it feel like for 60 minutes it's going to be really difficult for anybody to figure out a way to slow you guys down for a full 60 minutes because of the way you guys are playing right now? We're playing well. Um, we're playing well. Um, I feel like and we're just going to go out and play our game. We're focused on us. Um, we're going to give everything we have for 60 minutes. Um, just do what we got to do, sir. Is this as fresh as you've been at this point in the season in your career, or at least the last few years when you've been playing a lot? Yeah, I'm fresh. I feel feel amazing. I was flying around today. I felt fast today. Uh, I can't wait to get out there on Friday. Do you think Marquise had those hands or he had that one hand to catch? Yeah, he makes he makes plays like that all the time. He does. Marquise is special for sure. Yeah, I used to watch it a lot. I don't remember much at all. Um, I just remember going back and forth with my, my brother's friends all the time. That's about it. it was there. Has it been any different having a quarterback coach whose sole focus is just you guys? You know what I mean? Not to take anything away from Kenny, but Kenny also had to coordinate the entire offense and he was calling plays, but like Tony just seemed to be able to focus on you guys, your techniques, your fundamentals. What's it been like that sort of relationship and the benefits? Oh yeah, they're both they were both great coaches. I'm so thankful for both of them. Um, so thankful. Um, yeah, having Coach Sokar is, is it's great for sure. Um, if he's a great coach, he coaches us really hard, he loves us at the same time. Um, yeah, we're, we're blessed to have him, for sure. I know, I know Kenny loves to do his own thing, but he, he has a couple times throughout the year praised yes, you on social media and publicly kind of supported you. What, is, what does that mean? And just stay in touch with him. Just what, what does that count? Yeah, we talk every now and then. That's my guy at the end of the day. He, he helped me as a player and as a person a lot. He cared for me a lot. When I was going through a lot, he always had my back no matter what. Um, through all the ups and downs, he always had my back. So I'm so grateful for him. Um, I love him. That's my guy. Um, yeah, is there? Turkey or ham? Um, a I'll say turkey for sure. What side dishes do you need? Uh, like mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, corn, a little bit of everything. Dessert guy at all? Uh, I feel like I stuff myself so much that <laughs> I can't get a dessert. What's mom make the best of? Mac and cheese. Is yes, there? Is there? Do you know Anthony Richardson pretty well? I don't know him at all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Thank you. All the starches for the side.